What's up, fishing fam? I'm on my way back home from the lake. But I want to give you a little recap, and I'm going to let you guys know, you know, what time I got there and uh, what baits I started with and what areas I fished and all that. So I got there about 9.30, went out there in the flow tube. I went straight across to the uh, north end of the lake. I fished the whole uh, north end using a mid-diving crankbait, a jig, a black and blue jig. The crankbait was a shad pattern. Um, I also threw a, a drop shot and, um, and I had a Texas rig grub on there too, on one of my poles. I had four rods. So I went down the whole north side without a bite, throwing all those baits. Um, I ran into a guy, a fisherman that was fishing on the shore, and uh, he said he caught one on a small cast master. He said the bass were eating small little bait fish that are about one inch long. So all I had was a spinner bait. I didn't have no uh, no cast masters or anything. So. I, I used my little my spinner bait. It was 3/16, so it was a smaller size spinner bait with smaller blades. I tried that, and uh, I couldn't even get a bite with that. So I went back to the crankbait. It's a silent crankbait by Ima, and I just uh, stuck to that. I I tried to um, use a drop shot and uh, my plastics and stuff. They wouldn't even nibble it. So I tried to force feed them the uh, the uh, the plastic baits. They weren't having it, so I knew I just had to stick to that uh, uh, mid-diving crankbait because I was uh, I was hitting bottom when I was reeling the crankbait. I was about in seven feet of water, and I was just uh, you know just dredging the bottom with that mid-diving crankbait. And um, I think it was about around 12 o'clock. I worked my way back over to the south side of the lake after I went all the way down. Um, the north side I went to the uh, north uh, west side and then I went straight across from there to the south side of the lake and started throwing my crankbait and I got over to where the boat ramp was to where they stocked the trout in there's a lot of uh, rocks in that area that are just scattered scattered boulders everywhere out there so I thought there might be one on one of those boulders so I was I cast it out over there and I made my way to um, the boat ramp and I made like maybe four casts by the boat ramp there were some people right there fishing for trout too right there by the boat ramp and um, I hooked up on a on a good sized bass you guys are gonna see and um, that was the only fish that I got all day I worked my way back all the way um, to where I started at but on the south end and uh, I didn't get no other bites. I, I went out to deep water and I threw my drop shot around and I threw my uh, grub around and I couldn't even get no bites out there. It was super tough today. It was super windy out here in the, in the, uh, in the San Fernando Valley, but out there at Santa Fe Dam, um, it wasn't that bad. I think it was only like, I think it was like five miles an hour. And then at, uh, when I left, it was blowing like seven miles an hour I think so not that bad at all all right guys enjoy the video I got real ones with me everywhere that I go I'm trying to tell you I got enemies got a lot of enemies every time I see them something wrong with their memory trying to take away from a nigga so tired of saving all these niggas Mike what's up fishing fam Today I'm fishing the pre the pre spawn bite over here at uh, Santa Fe Dam over here in Irwindale, Irwindale, California. It's in Southern California for everyone out of state. It's a small uh, lake. I think it's only about like a hundred acres or so, maybe less than that. Going to be fishing the pre spawn bite today. Today's supposed to get up to about 85, so uh, the bite should pick up as the day warms up. Uh, I'm a little tired right now because I had a long walk over here to the water so I'm gonna be throwing a, um, a jig a drop shot and a spinner bait and a grub Texas rig grub to start off with and then uh, see where it goes from there all right guys wish me luck 
first fish of the day guys right there on the crankbait I just got yesterday it's a silent uh, what is this uh, I'm a crankbait medium diving crankbait just got them right now it took me all day I've, I've been fishing here since about 930 and uh, since the last time I talked to you guys and now it's 12 o'clock I finally got them uh, there's a road that uh, goes into the water and I got this one off the road so I'm gonna see if I can keep uh, catching them right here I'm probably gonna slow down and fish a drop shot right here and see if I can get some more I'm gonna get this uh, fish unhooked and let him go this one is solid uh, solid two pounder right here just came right out that's that crankbait right there good fish right there guys solid uh, about 15 inches see you later Derek There he goes on the crankbait got him right out here uh, where this road goes into the water all right guys this is the end of the vlog this video was uh, pretty short I only got that one fish today today was pretty tough I didn't see anyone else catching any fish there was no other float tubers out here and there was like uh, maybe one or two bass fishermen that I saw out there, but none of them had any luck. And then there were some shore anglers fishing for trout, but there's my uh, my float tube right there. I, I had four rods today. I was throwing a jig, um, a drop shot, a Texas rig grub, and, uh, and a crankbait, a medium diving crankbait. I caught that fish on a medium diving crankbait. I picked up the crankbait last night. It's this IMA crankbait. It's a, a Pinjack 200, silent, has no rattles in it. And um, I caught that fish where uh, where the where uh, where they drop off the trout at. There's a uh, a road or the um, actual the boat ramp goes into the water. And I caught that one right on the boat ramp. There's some scattered uh, rocks out there, so he might have been on one of those rocks, but that's where I got that fish at. And he was probably in about like seven feet of water, something like that. And I got him on that crankbait when I was uh, dragging, you know, digging bottom. Cali Bass Kid TV just hit 500 subscribers, guys. So I want to thank all you guys who are subscribed to my channel. Thank you to all my viewers. I really appreciate it this year the goal is 700 subscribers I'm not asking for much just 200 more subscribers by the end of the year April is uh, the two-year mark for Cali Bass Kid TV I'm gonna show you guys the float tube that I was in today it's a caddis float tube I have a, a light vest that's required if you have a, a, a boat and also I have fins for my feet. That's how you get around in one of these float tubes. You paddle your feet with the fins on. And then you also have some waterproof waders. I'm gonna get more into detail uh, right now so you can guys so you guys can get an up close, you know, up close and personal look at it. Alright, we're gonna start with the uh, the caddis float tube. We got the inches right here on the front. This is where you sit at. These things just buckle in. Got another one right here. That's what straps you in. You got both of these right here. You sit in it. And your feet come right out the front. And you just pedal backwards. This is where I keep uh this is where you keep your storage at. There's some storage uh compartments here. I keep all my terminal tackle in that one and um, some uh, hard baits and stuff and then in here I keep uh, mostly my plastics, my scents, uh, my line. And it holds a lot of stuff in there. Even have a cup holder right here. That makes it real cool. 
And then also the cup holder uh, hangs in the water a little bit, so your drinks always stay cold. Here's the life vest. You don't have to wear it, but you have to have one on your uh, float tube. So I have mine on there. It just hangs. These are my flippers right here. It's a little case that they're in, but they uh, go on. They go right over my boot. They strap my boot right in there. I'm going to go over the setup that I caught that fish on. There's the bait right there. It's the Ima Pin Jack 200. It dives up uh, 8 to 12 feet on an uh, 8-pound line. I have 8-pound uh, Iser line copolymer on there. That's a uh, Laguna, Daiwa Laguna. I believe it's like a 5 to 1 gear ratio, slow. I like all my gear ratios like around uh, 5. I like mine slow. Most people like them fast, but I like mine slow. Also, uh, this rod is a uh, Shimano convergence it's a 7-2 um, what is it a medium power with a fast action and it's an IM7 graphite really nice rod I use this rod for crank baiting um, and jerk baits mostly here's my waders I have a uh, you know my regular clothes on underneath uh, just a pair of sweats right now because the water's you know kind of chilly, but it wasn't that bad out there And then these are all waterproof a hundred percent waterproof. No water comes in here at all. I Suggest you guys uh, go out and get a float tube. It gets you guys off the bank you know out there on the water and um, being out there on the water Helps a whole lot. Sometimes it could be super tough from shore. It's way better out there in a the boat, guys. I'm telling you. Get yourself off the shore. Get out there. Get on the water somehow. I highly suggest it.